Now that it's here, let's take a look at the new Black Series Droidica. First off, it comes in a bigger than usual box. It's a real heckin' chonker for all the Discord mods out there. You've got the standard box art on the angled side, the description on the back, and this very exciting other side. Here it is next to one of the standard size boxes. Wow, look at the skylight on the top of this thing. Now let's dig in. Starting with the overall vibes, I think they've done a good job capturing the overall look and feel of a droidica. The sculpts and paint apps seem pretty good, but some of the joints are a hair loose on mine. Especially the back leg, which likes to default to one of these higher detents, which makes it seem like he's riding a recumbent bike all the time. Head is a bit loose, but I think that might be a consequence of the design of the droid itself. This tiny spot where it connects probably limits what they can do with it, though. It took me forever to realize that the same spot slides in and out, too. The legs have two joints up and down and can swing side to side. There's a missing joint down here from the original character that makes it impossible to roll up in the same way that the droids in the movie do. But I'll get back to that in a minute. These two spaghetti strainers on the side swing in and out like this. There's a hinge at the waist that goes back and forth, but not side to side. There's another one up in the back, and all of these hinges and stuff under the curved bit. You can use them to move the shell up and down to give it some more personality. And now for the arms. The shoulders have this little piece of thread in the back, which keeps them from going all the way forward, but they look cool, and it's unlikely you would make this guy do that anyway. The shoulder joints go up to about 90 degrees to the sides and swivel around. The elbows go up and down, and I really like these little working pistons. These wrist gun things go up and down, too. So now the other big question is, how well does this thing roll up into a ball? The answer is, eh, it's serviceable. There are some other great videos about this topic, like this one from Mike Case, link in the description, but here is a short version. You can kind of get it close, but little details like the missing hinge at the bottom of the rear leg prevents the figure from folding up fully accurately. This is probably the most I've ever wanted Hasbro to include instructions on how they intended one to use this figure. This is what they have in the promotional pictures, and here is my version of that. It's not actually gonna roll very well, if that's a deal breaker for you. So it's a huge bummer, but I will have to somehow find a way to move forward in my life with this. You can leave your thoughts and prayers for me in the comments below. So I got this guy for the standard price of 35 bucks. Do I think it's worth it? Well, I don't feel ripped off. There's enough unique stuff going on here that I can kind of see the deluxe price being justified here. But of course, if you can get it on sale, that would be even better. I would have liked some sort of shield or blast effect in this package, but that probably would have doubled the size of the box. We're already pushing the limits of physics with how big this thing is. So, for comparisons, here's the Droidica next to the Black Series Phantom Menace Qui-Gon and Obi-Wan, the Black Series Darth Maul and Jar Jar, a couple of Black Series B1 battle droids, Black Series Phase 1 and 2 clone troopers, Black Series Delta Squad from Republic Commando, Black Series Clone Wars Obi-Wan and Anakin Skywalker, the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 M. Bison and Dalsim, and the Jada Toys Chester Cheetah and Marvel Legends Deadpool. So overall, I like this figure, but it isn't blowing my mind or anything. It's a solid rendition of the Destroyer droid, but with some little caveats that might be a deal breaker for people who are bigger sticklers about that type of thing. Have you gotten this figure? Let me know in the comments below, leave a like, and check out the video on the screen. See you next time.